Ikse. Take a pilot ke bola lagai. Strip beefy ga singer go high. Pasanya ga mo go go le mai. Ikse. Rest in peace if I can't hold blind. Cause I yellow to let it pipe. So just Chills thought that I would behave myself because uh, Tap is here because I do a lot when he's not here and this joint is playing. So she's surprised and I'm like, but well, what did you expect to happen? Hey, 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 hey. It's just gone uh, seven minutes after seven o'clock. Yes, I'm acting wild. I'm very excited. My guest is here. Tato Sol is here. We're going to be hanging out until we hit uh, eight o'clock. And I decided to do something different today i don't know why but this is what's going to happen i decided to welcome him by asking him five random questions to settle him in i don't know how it's gonna go um first of all how are you i'm good how are you i'm good thank you how do you feel about these random questions i i i tend to get them lately I really them. yeah okay. I've, I've heard this before okay 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 as far as you are concerned is mince meat or gravy? Mince meat. Is it mince meat? Is it meat or is it gravy? Mince meat. <laughs> uh, it's meat. It's meat. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, street fighter or Mortal Kombat? Mortal. Ah, uh, street fighter. Yes. Okay. Uh, favorite thing to have for breakfast? I really eat breakfast. Uh, my eggs. <laughs> okay, a song that you love that most people would be surprised to know that you mess with. Dreams of the Eldest by Dave Holland Quartet. Hmm. And lastly, an experience you've never had that people would have expected you to have had. I've never spun a car, like spilling a car. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? I actually haven't. And thing is, I always post that type of stuff, but I actually. Yes. No, when I want to, Bahaho must be revoked. Yeah, no, it's Kashotanya and Agafel. No, and it's in Yana. A lot. It's as I know it, but I, I wish, I wish. Why not? Because you, ha- you have access to the thing. Yeah, the thing is, you know, I, I have homies who, that's what they do. They yeah. make money from spinning cars. So, I don't know. And the thing is, I drive a car that can be spin. Really? What car do you drive? The one, I think, I think, I think I, I just let it out. So I drive. I drive a Gucci. <gasps> really? Is it the black one that's in the music video? Nah, not that one. <laughs> what color is it? Please don't say red because I might check you. <gasps> we have to take a break. All right, it's just gone 13 minutes after 7 o'clock. I had to take a break there. My emotions were all over the place because of the really nice car. And then I saw the picture. Like, mm. there's a lot going on. Now, though, I'm going to get it together. And we're actually going to talk about why we're all here tonight. Life is gangster. Yeah, I know. 10th of June, 2022. How has it been since you've dropped? It's, it's been dope. It's yeah. been dope. Like, the reception is dope. Um, I think people are still playing it. I, th- yes. I think they're still playing it. It feels like it's all modern. It's been like four weeks. It's been like four, three, four weeks. So it still feels new, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but it's been dope. It's been dope. And what's been the most interesting response that you've gotten from somebody? <sighs> the most interesting from, from the project? Uh, I think a lot of people expected different features. Mm, okay yeah they expected different features but i i, I think I, I chose the best ones yeah you know, i think i chose the best ones especially the reese one my favorite one was the tron pyre feature yes yeah that was my favorite one because that's who i started doing music with ah you know so finally i put him on a project but um yeah like um that part and uh yeah, everything is, is ex- exactly what I expected because it's my best work so far. Yeah. So I expected people to say that. So out of all the joints right now, because I find that with artists, when they drop a project, your favorite joint changes over time. Yes. So right now, what is your current favorite on there? I think the Murimuta Peri song. Yeah? That, that's, that's, I think it's so far my favorite Tato So song. Really? Yeah, Why? Since I started doing this music thing because it, it has everything. You know, mm. Everything that I stand for, it's in that one song mm. you know and the title itself it's you know people are actually jealous about that title really artists <laughs> are braga 
Marwa na rasa ta gali zile. Yeah, so like people always re- react that way, especially artists. They always like, "Dog, how did you come up with that name?" So how did you come up with that name? What inspired it? Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's how but how most starting mabula lang basically. Mm. You know, it's like muri tarate na sa we speak like baraga muri mutla pelin dawa baraga. You know, like that type of thing, you know. So that's how we speak and then I ended up making it a song. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what I did that and things like that. So I'm I'm Joburg born and bred. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I can't speak spitor. I can't. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. And I don't I don't know the Pretoria life and culture cuz I got a lot of things. Yeah. So for someone like me, what was it like? Kholalada. It's it's for me for me it's it's the best thing ever you know? really it's it's the best thing ever like i always tell people i'm never going to leave hmm. i highly doubt i'm ever going to leave and anyway i get homesick you know when i leave pta for four weeks mm. I, i can't do more than four weeks i have to come back you know so i don't think i'm ever going to leave that city i i, I don't think i'm ever going to leave that city born raised and probably going to you know lay to rest in that place Heck, what makes it so amazing? You see people like us we go in there yeah. few hours we're like, "Yo, let's go let's back to the oh, I know." I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 the the it has a feeling of its own. You know, it has a feeling of its own. I know people always say those things like, "Ah, when you go to Joburg, especially the north part of Joburg, they always like, "Ah, you know, <laughs> you know that type of thing." <laughs> And then they always compare to PTA people when they say, "Ah, you go to PTA, but how I ache they, you know, no one has, you know, no one has an attitude, no one. No one's pretentious. Yeah, either. like everyone is just having fun. You know, mm. you just enjoy yourself. I, I love that the most about the city. Like that's my favorite thing. You know. So I was checking out um, your conversation that you had with Slicker. Yeah. Right, and um, it was a really, really dope conversation. You were very open, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. And there's something that you spoke about. And you spoke about the steel cage <laughs> on a Friday, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I remember even Slicker was like, y- "Yeah, you couldn't believe." It. Yo, yeah. so that was you were saying that that was a thing that you guys would look forward to or kids would look forward to yeah. on a Friday. So now, what are your Fridays like now? Yeah, what are you Fridays. looking forward to now? I hope I you're just, not still. I just want to perform. <laughs> I just want to perform now. I just want to be on the stage. If I'm not on the stage, at least studio. You know, if I'm not in the stage or studio, then I'm probably at a place where that might happen. Right. People might end up doing that. You know. So now it's changed. Now it's changed. I feel like I am a rapper now. Yeah. I full blown. Before this, I was one in, one out. Yeah. You know, before this, I was one in, one out. But now, especially when after I dropped Members Only. Yes. Because b- Members Only was, like I said, supposed to be my final project. Then I'm done and I leave. But now I feel like I'm in. Now, well, I'm going in slowly. Yeah. Slowly I'm going in. So yeah, my life has changed now. Like, what was it about members only though that made you decide to not be like I'm out and call it a day? Because it, that's one very strong feeling, yeah. and then for us to be here now is very very different. So something had to have happened or changed within you for you to decide to go the complete opposite direct- yeah, direction. Yeah. Direction. I think it was the, the the reception for that one. The reception for that one. Because you must remember, I actually did that project for the members only mm. you know it was just for my community to understand that's why the slang on there is even deeper mm. you know it was just meant for my neighborhood black rock basically go pay but then people outside started liking things that were meant for just a few people you yeah. know so i was like ah if we all braga let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's keep going well then yeah let's just keep going you know because like who else is going to do it besides 25 you know cuz 25 is from down the street ah oh, okay But yeah so do you have any regrets thus far do you ever sit back and go hey man maybe i should have just called it a day i think i think now around the times of doing if you know you know with mash yes. so when i did that it was more people started looking so I had more people who were reacting and started saying stuff. Yeah, around that that time it was it was difficult because yeah. now they're like, why smash working with an unknown guy and mm. with the jela now he's wasting his time. You mm. know, this guy's just a little guy. So that's when that's when I started thinking, uh, maybe maybe I should leave. You know, but then Mesh was like, nah, trust, yeah. keep going. 
you go. But I'm not what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that's the question. And a lot of people know that. <laughs> oh, that other. Yeah, a lot that, of people. That other, other side. And thing is, m- the people that I'm around want me to come to the studio. People, I just come from there anyway. Yeah. The people that you expect me to come with, you know. So they, they, they just all stay behind. I left the hood. I come to to an interview i leave i go to the studio so they push me to nah it's fine dog like actually push that right you know? like stop 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 coming through actually <laughs> yeah. Cut heads yeah, well, actually, braga, your studio, <laughs> you know so yeah nah, nah i actually appreciate where i am right now i love that okay so we're going to play put it on me and then we're going to come back and unpack a little bit more it's just gone 21 minutes after seven o'clock you're plugged into the element or for the love of hip-hop i'm hanging out with tato soul We've got 35 more minutes until we get out of here and hand over to Hip Hop on the Grind. But until then, it's all for the love of Hip Hop, hanging out with Tato Soul. And we've been, we've just started unpacking a little bit of Life is Gangster. So you you make mention, um, either in interviews or even on the joints, about this other, other life, yeah. right? And what I wanted to know from you is, what principles from that life do you still make use of in this life now i think right now is that's why when i said um, i'm still transitioning so when i lose it in that especially my reaction the way i, I usually react mm. you know i always see things like on especially like social media people will tag me saying ah this guy said this and this about you this guy said this and on another day we'd go crew we'd take it all the way you know hey so now it's like i'm trying to like ah it's it's fine it's just music you know it's just music they're just talking about music it's nothing personal you know so now i'm trying to make that change and you know there's there's a lot of people i know have a lot of things to say about me you know a lot of guys on i don't know whatever event organizers podcasts and everything they always have something to say about me but i'm trying to make that change just don't go too far you know <laughs> what's too far if you go too far and you make it personal it has nothing to do with music anymore mm. then it's it's personal now you know so that's where i'm trying to remove things other than put in things mm-hmm. you know put in like ways of handling situations i'm st- i'm trying to change mm. how i you know i mean we walk around with scars on our bodies because of how we we react. react yeah you know so now i'm trying to like find a different way of reacting to things and then when i f- figure that out then i'll find a way of moving forward with people especially in this industry you know yeah which is tough it's yeah i was tough. about to say how difficult is it really for you especially because if you've been so used to doing things a certain way and you have your reasons yeah. and your reasons for it makes sense to you because yeah. you're not just doing it for the sake yeah. of doing it now you come into this new space you're making this really incredible name for yourself and uh, you there are just certain things that you can't, can't just do. do anymore but when you're presented with certain things that are triggering or and you know it's normally now what would happen now is this how difficult is it to go the other way yeah it's 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 tough like i think i spoke about the story on the slick interview when i nearly i nearly beat up this other guy on stage on cotton face <laughs> yeah so and he's a known guy he's a known guy he knows himself you know but then when i'm about to do it gajik and then i'm seeing there's a crowd mm. you know we are on stage so when i saw that crowd that's when i was like hey nah maybe let me chill you know maybe let me relax and then i relaxed you know so that's when that was the biggest sign where i was like okay i'm, I'm starting to change mm. you know because usually where we, where we come from the bigger the crowd the better <laughs> <laughs> Big, bigger the crowd the better you know but it's only release, you know so now it's, it's it's different now the bigger the crowd the worse it is yes now. the the more reserved yeah, you kind of need to be act. the more measured you need to be in a lot of the things that you That's say and do people are always like yo why is he always you know keeping a straight face why mm. is he because i try not to be approachable you know now I'm let trying. me tell you something there you are succeeding <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you are, but, but also because you can even see it in in the way that you engage or don't engage in certain yeah. things on social media. Yeah. Um, when I was checking out your page, when I first first started checking out your page, I was like, "Yo, I would go once or so." Oh, yeah. scary, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So even when you were coming today, I was like, "I, I, I don't know." <laughs> in a vlog about it, <laughs> I actually left those. <laughs> you give me. 
<laughs> like she left us. But I'm trying. I'm trying not to be approachable. I'm, I'm trying my best because people say a lot of things about me, and they know themselves. You know, they always saying. So they always have something about me to say. Then I get tagged on those things and everything. I get sent those things. I just turned down an interview mm. with a known, with a big radio platform in this yeah. country yeah. because of something they said. Oh, really? Yeah, they said it on a podcast, mm -hmm. and then I think they thought it wasn't going to get back to me. Right. Then it was sent to me. That I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'm not going to go crazy about it, but tell them I don't want to do the interview anymore. That is heck shit. Mm -hmm. But where, where does this need to stand up for yourself like that come from? Because you know what? Like, I don't, I don't want it to be a thing where people think, ah, you can say anything about him and you'll still come. Mm. You know, you can. It's just like Lemuri Tarate. You know, you when something small happens, you want to go all the way because you know, you know, you don't want to let one thing slide and then everyone keeps doing over and over. So I think that's one thing that I brought into a music also. Or it's fine. There's people I don't work with. There's people in this game. I know I won't work with because yeah. I know what they're saying about me. Mm. You know, once you do the and then they have a lot of things to say about me, and then it comes back. So it's like it's fine. We won't work. It's fine. I can just sit back. But if I see you, then I'm gonna make it clear that now nah, I heard what you said. Right. You know, I heard what you said, and I don't really like that. But since it's music, ah, it's fine. Mm. You know, it's music. It's not personal. Cause even I have opinions about people. You know, but it's just music. It's nothing personal. You get me. So yeah, it's 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 difficult to no for transition. Yes, it's very tough to make that transition. You know, now it's like you go to places, or in any hood, and people are looking at you somewhere. You think it's because ish monale on the floor, but it's like oh, can I, I'm this rap guy. Now I'm this person. Oh yes, I'm known for this now. Yeah, oh yes, exactly. now you must smile. Now I have to smile. With <laughs> <laughs> you know now i have to smile with people so yeah it, it happens it's very tough i've had situations where someone is waiting by the door for me mm. so i'm thinking hey, something is something's about, about to so pop as off. i'm about to react and it's like no ah, bratato, you know i'm a fan you know Kobala photo. it's like oh okay yeah. i didn't see that coming you that know? must be so difficult for you yeah. in the sense of to constantly be on alert like that do you ever just relax i can't I, I can't i think the more people listen to my music the more on age i get hmm. actually but now what are we going to do tato let's be practical what are we going to do because the issue is me you are putting the music mm -hmm. out you mm -hmm. are creating it you are putting it out so there's a part of you that that loves this thing maybe not the yeah. the fame necessarily part yeah, of it yeah. that comes with it but unfortunately it is part and parcel of it so Riravia. It's it's oh, tough. Say, um, it's tough because people who come from my neighborhood know the people I'm speaking to. Because there's a lot of disrespectful things I say on my music, you know. <laughs> and people from my neighborhood know. I think like usually when rappers rap about things like ah oh, you guys singing and they talking in general. Whereas right. I'm speaking about specific people, you know. So I talk about Alangwana. I think I also make things worse for myself because I speak about actual people that I have issues with, you mm. know. And I'm coming at them directly. This is. Even there's a lyric on the song Life is Gangster where I actually swore at them. You know, so it's like I actually make it worse when I rap my actual life, you know, which is what I do. So I, I have to find a different way because I do make it worse for myself. I wanted to ask you on that note because um, I noticed that as well. You know, when, when it comes to art, right, there's different ways of approaching it, yeah. and especially when it comes to music as an art form. And sometimes, and especially in hip hop, right, there's the affluent side of things how you want things to be not yeah, necessarily yeah. how they are the ideals what you're aiming for and then there is what you do now especially with um the other life and some of the difficult things that you have been through one might it think that you would go for the escapism route yeah. through your music that kind of form of therapy but you're not doing that why i think it, it's it's because when i took on the name the name tato soul and then I was like, because it's it stands so it means Soulsville, you know. So when I took on the name, I was like, I'm gonna say everything about Soulsville. I'm not gonna hide anything. I'm gonna represent it, but for the truth, you know, not what I want it to seem like, but mm. what it actually is, you know. So when I did that, that's when 
my whole life started to get into music you know mm. so now it's tough to even find the difference between the life outside of the studio and the life in the studio because that's how i started doing music with tron pyre for example Tron, he was the one busy saying yo come to the studio yes you know, like not saying come to the studio because you're a dope rapper which is the one side but come to the studio as in leave there <laughs> and, come. and then studio i rap about exactly what just happened mm. so it be, it's it's how i started doing music like something would happen where on the song praises where i said uh like i did like i never ran from the police at the grove with a knife when i said that lyric in the studio it was exactly what just happened <laughs> so i'm i'm trying to find a different way of of rapping because the thing of talking about my actual life i then me and my homies are gonna go face the music right when we get on the street whereas you just at home enjoying the music enjoying the music so it's starting to feel a bit like okay i need to be measured in this yeah. way that's far but not quite yeah, not all the, the way whole anymore. way yeah so now it's like i've gone all the way especially on the song life is gangster yeah. so now i need to Ew. chill now especially there oh and i like okay <laughs> we'll, we'll come back we'll come back <laughs> 70 minutes to go before we hit eight o'clock are you gonna teach me some speed door yeah yeah there's there's a lot that i can teach you okay please can we do it off air because lele melelona is just going to embarrass all of us <laughs> i know i know that i know okay so i see track eight on the on the project is tau street interlude ne? Yeah. give me the significance of tau street because uh. Yeah, no, that that was sweet. I think the song even explains exactly what that was sweet is because the song is about a, a drive by. Yes, a day yeah. daylight drive by. Ah, uh, got my two little villas as he. They drive past my first rabule. Can show us go off. Let jumpa ma wata na li pita gadi danger li rabu di nini. That's that was sweet. That's actually that was sweet. But that's scary, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> No, yeah. no, Saras. Let me tell you why it's scary. Ne? Not just because of what you say. How can Google let Tau Street? Ne? It's like top ten attractions. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, nah. <laughs> why? Like they they speak about it like you must go there. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> I, it's actually the opposite. It's actually the opposite. If you're from around, then you're fine. Then you're fine. But that's exactly what Tau Street okay. is. If you're not from around, what must you do? Call me. <laughs> How say? What if you're in the studio? Yeah. What if you're in the studio? Rirang. In Otamai. Karen, let me tell you a funny story. Actually, so last again, I come from the studio. Right. So when I land on the corner, everyone is outside. So when I get there, they're like, "Hey, Jonah, my friend, Biana, they're actually waiting for you." Ba onai, but so the camera, ba nyango tadi photo, you with you, you know. So they've been asking. They mm. went and asked the guys like, "Is that all around? Can we take photos?" So they yeah, yeah, yeah already bad already a bad thing <laughs> you know so when i get there but a braga how can see what the photo of one no rurizi yeah camera is a wall so i start laughing and you can see they get nervous they little kids yeah but they actually came with a camera so our braga but how about you like a cargo no it's a cargo is like things so, things you can steal right yeah rurizi a cargo okay you know oh, I reckon, well, mm. yeah no wala yeah get a dictionary yeah but braga but how about you like a cargo you can even say you know rurizi a cargo oh my god <laughs> so then I go, I take photos with them, I take photos with them, and then they left. So that is the street. So don't really come if you don't know anyone. I w- I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, no. Oh, la 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 rotosa. Yeah, no. And then on track six, Kick It With You, it's featuring my... Sh- <laughs> <laughs> You put it out. Mm-hmm. You put it on wax. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's love it. Say, <laughs> 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 Okay. I was going to say, oh, till now, or I I shop. Wow, I did not see that coming. <laughs> However, 
where I was going though was so what are your thoughts and philosophies on love in general I mean if you listen to the joint you can hear how you feel about this particular person yeah. uh, that's pretty clear but yeah. overall what are your thoughts and philosophies on love and who are your love role models I was about to say my parents my parents have been married for like 32 years cool. that's you beautiful know. So they've been together for a long time and I was raised by two parents, you know. That's I was raised precious. Which most people don't have. You know, most people don't have that. So I believe in it. I, I yeah. believe in it. I believe or you get married, have kids and r- protect your family, raise your family, exactly what my dad does. Yeah. You know. I, I believe in all that because that's the household I was raised in, you know, so I got to see it from birth. Yeah. You know, it's never been my dad I think or nah. So I, 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 I am I am a believer in that, you know. How far are you willing to go for love? And I, I don't mean distance because we're really yeah. like down with Sasha, Hura, yeah. like Hura Hala a lot. Yeah. Mo, kick yeah. it with you. Imbafella, how far are you willing to go for love? I think the furthest I would go is actually leaving PTA. It's a big <gasps> thing, leaving PTA. Yo, you just said you don't think you're <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that will be the biggest thing I would do if for most situation and we have to, you know, that moving has to happen. I would think about it. <laughs> I love how non-committal I would yeah, think. I would think about it, which is big. I would think about it. And then if it's no other way then i think i think i would it'll be the only reason why i would leave you know i've, hmm. I've told people like bagat like odi top dog or barbanya go saena you have to live in la <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm not going anyway <laughs> there is nobody in pretoria who wants to leave pretoria nah. or is even like it can happen nah that's not how we are i i wouldn't leave yeah maybe i'll leave for a month and i'll come back but nah maybe la because I, I like la you know matter anywhere else nah I don't, I, it doesn't really matter how much yeah I, i'm not leaving i can get the money here <laughs> you know i can't <laughs> get, uh, but i'm gonna email yourself Wow. So tell me about this this theme that I that I picked up throughout the project about um authenticity versus inauthentic people. <laughs> yeah. Fake people, fake things, people who speak a certain kind of way but don't necessarily live yeah. the way that they speak and why it's such a great theme because you repeat it mm. in many different songs yeah. in many different ways. It's it's I guess it's also like hope hella and you're around street people so they always say like uh, like I remember one time Renze Mola Modi dice saying it so like usually not even usually a lot of like dice spots you can go to in my neighborhood more about more about the thing that's actually my name they always write my name hmm. you know so people who gamble always gamble on boards that have my name wow. on. You know, and they always say, or braga, not on wala because you actually are in these places. Okay. You, know, you actually are in these places. Baba mona mano repa fail. You know. So they kept saying that over and over and over. So I was like, okay, let's actually make it the thing. Now let's make it the thing. Some people took it some type of way. Some people were like, ah, you're talking about this guy, you're talking about this guy. Mm. I'm not really talking about anyone specific, you know. But if anyone feels some type of way, then I'm probably talking about them. <laughs> <laughs> this pro- is probably the case. That's why I never react to a lot of things that people say because uh, I don't think you're talking about me. Ah. They always say things like, ah, oh, no, he, he, he's, why I got these songs? You know, he's not telling the truth. And uh, that's why I never react because it's, you know, you surely you're not talking about me. I feel yeah, you. I'm sure you're not talking about me. So moving out of that space, because I got to your transitioning yeah, now yeah. and uh, we're, we're stepping into this beautiful new mm-hmm. role, right? So, because it's sounding a lot like that, that, old space even though it's got its things that might not necessarily be dope and might not be very healthy for you right now there are things about it that you're like this i can mess with right so are you finding that the more you move onto this other side you're moving a little bit further away from certain authenticity and realness or are you finding that maybe it's there yeah like I, I do I do feel like the more I get into the music I feel like there is I, I'm I'm 
there's some sort of distance mm. now you know there's some sort of distance like no muritarate you might catch me i too in a week you know which i don't like but i'm gaining from it i feel you you know i'm gaining from it i don't like but i'm gaining from it so it's like moving forward i don't know people are like okay but how are you going to talk about things that you actually you know not around you know so i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out how am i going to do that but then <clears throat> i'm one of the few people who actually come from that you know so whether i speak about it after 20 years or now i know it you know i'm speaking about what i know so yeah there's like a, a distance that's happening but everyone is happy that there's actually a distance right so yeah people are happy so now let's let's speak about bo gangster gangsterism and then how we get to life is yes. gangster simply because you know when you when you historic, historically look at hip hop this idea of gangsterism and bo mafia has been very romanticized yeah. Yeah. like it's cool it's in music video concepts yeah. it's in movies and while you speak about bo gangster you're not necessarily romanticizing no. it you're not no. making it like yeah no. let's do it but you are speaking about it and then you move to life is gangster yeah break it yeah. down so firstly the the closing song life is gangster was actually supposed to show you the other side of it like yeah oh no all these things are happening but then that's why i get to speak like joe now I'm, we probably don't know but there's probably some depression happening yes you know we probably don't know but there has to be some ptsd from whatever that we've seen that we've seen through, yes you know so that's why i opened up about my own depression uh, that's why i say when it feels like depression because i've never went to a doctor and and been formally and diagnosed, been diagnosed. Yeah. so i can't say when it is, i have to say when it feels like depression you know so it's like a lot of people are going through that i have homies who try to cut their wrists you know so it's like when you see that then it's the the other side of what we people are always talking about on songs so, mm. ah, we do this we do that but on the flip side it's like i have people who call me every day at like 2 a.m because they can't sleep you know not because we'll be easy but can't sleep and we know why you can't mm -hmm. sleep you know it's because you've done this or you've done that so we know why some people can't sleep we know why some people banana gaudo marwana gaudo because banoma biala marwana biala because banale matata yeah and the problems always go back to loza muditarate you know so this it's always a pattern there's always you know it becomes a cycle even so that's why i said life is gangster you know i said life is gangster because people muditarating always believe to be the hardest one you know you believe you the hardest thing and everything there's nothing harder than this life Mm. you know there's nothing tough tougher than life i don't care how hard you are you know the gangster is seen as the the tough guy the clever guy and i mean life is exactly that you know all of us under life is we're all equal you know we're all equal but life itself because i see all sides of life you know i'm in music now i see those things mm. and <clears throat> my mom took me to good school you know my mom took me to a good high school so i saw the other side of the city even because I was around PTA East people. So I see all of that but everyone for everyone is tough. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how tough you are, Moditarate. It's it's very tough, you know. It's very tough. So that's why I was like, yeah, we're going to talk about all this gangster stuff, but at the end I'm going to tell you why this life is very tough. Yeah. You know. So life itself is the most gangster thing ever. I love that. So yeah. So I have to ask now where is your mental health at now how are you feeling now does it feel like or i think thinking about it i think releasing the song helped because it's, it's stuff that i've never spoken about that's why there's a line on there saying my only cap is when i keep it bottled up you know because that's what we all do you know we don't speak about things i know especially I do as banna especially as banna you know black men we don't speak about nothing so that's why I had to do that song. So when I did that song, I mean, when I was writing the lyrics, there's a, there's a line on there saying tears in my eyes as I write this. As I write this, yes. Which was the fact, you know, I'm writing a song and there's tears coming down my eyes. When I recorded the first part, the first version of that song, I was crying recording that, hmm. you know. So I think doing the song and 
Hongwala ni lyrics there and actually recording it because when I'm recording my engineer is there mm-hmm. so he can hear all these things that I've never said to him then after we're done recording we're all quiet you know we all said they just dead quiet yeah. no one no one could say anything so i think after releasing the song i think i feel slightly better yeah i think there's more i can do you know i think there's more i can do i'm not the guy to do what it there are feeling in tears so that's how it's okay left ah clearly clearly i'm not that guy so that's uh, maybe that's i think that's out of the question but Haris re tla bitsa OC oil cuz o ka re ona le matla a re da bona go pele re da bona maybe a ka nthusa le re ka ra na mbae All right so we've got literally two minutes yeah. Tell me what you want me to know in these two minutes hmm. I think right now I have the best album out you know not even I think I know Yes when um people are going to try to say ah no mar this guy but it's a fact that right now i'm the best thing happening in this country when it comes to hip hop it's clear I what you just said is the most hip hop thing <laughs> that is hip hop because that's that's how you're supposed you to feel to. You you're, not, you're not supposed to be no now it's like nah, nah, number five eh? nah, 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 i know i'm on the other side you know you like step aside if that's how you feel in this team we're the best you know so right now i'm the best thing happening in this country and it's it's been needing someone like me for a very long time you know but my little my little will say mark or no <laughs> you know we've had a good a great guy before not like not to my level so that's what's happening right now so i hope everyone knows most people should know that if you don't know that i think you're listening to the lo- the wrong people <laughs> you know so download life is gangster so you can actually know who the best thing is you know I did the song Zack Levine on members only because Zack Levine is a basketball player with Chicago Bulls and at at some point he was the best thing we had. We couldn't this we couldn't do anything without him. So I still feel like I'm that guy. The city needs me. I'm the best shot for the city. I'm the best shot for the country now. So yeah. I think that's where I can just say goodbye. Yeah. Probably. And that's how we wrap it up. But uh, join me again tomorrow night 6 to 8 p.m. all for the love of hip hop. Uh, I'm leaving because overright the man who does control the hype he's he's lurking Gamufila. Hip hop on the grind is coming through from now until 10 o'clock. Remember in everything that you do make sure that you are in your element and while being in your element keep it pristine. Tata say bye. Show off it. Show off it. Show off it. Oh, show off it. All about. Good night.